What's going on everybody? This is your boy Mace and today we've got a very special announcement. Yes, we've changed uniforms, we're in a different country, but the passion for fitness remains the same and today our video is all about the big event, the main event that's coming up. Dry Try! Let's go. The OTF Dry Try is the ultimate fitness test here at Orange Theory Fitness and it consists of the three main components that we do on the day-to-day -day basis. We've got that rowing effort, body weight exercises, and then a running effort to finish everything off. It's been about a year since I've been blessed to join the OTF community and it's a damn shame that I haven't done the dry try yet. So today, it's all about talking through what I'm gonna do to prepare myself for this main event. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I train like a bodybuilder. However, for this event itself, you need to be a little bit more athletic. And although I don't train like a hybrid athlete, in fact, I don't train like an athlete at all, I still have a little bit of athleticism left in the tank, and we're gonna put it to the test on the OTF spectrum. Now, having said all this, I personally have not done the dry try and this will be my very first attempt at it. But here are some tips and strategies that I will incorporate heading into this event. Check it out. See, not a lot of people know this, but leading up to the event, Orange Theory does a very strategic thing where they prioritize certain workouts and they space them out over the course of one to two weeks to prepare you for an event like this. So even though you have members that don't sign up, technically, Every single workout you come through to, you're actually preparing your body for an event like the dry try. And I'll give you a really good example. Earlier this month, we actually did a dry try prep. And that day we actually had to row 2000 meters. That's gonna be the first leg of the actual event in dry try. And I think the way that we're gonna head into this is I got about seven minutes on the 2000 meter row, but I was going kind of hard. So I'm gonna draw back a little bit and I'm gonna use the rowing as an extension of my warm up, just to keep a steady pace during my rows. So I'm gonna make sure that as I go through this rowing cycle, it's gonna be challenging, absolutely doable for that first leg with a solid pace that's continuous, that won't burn me out before I head over to the floor. Now over here on the floor, this is the second leg of our exercise and we're doing 300 body weight exercises and it's gonna be spread across the span of six exercises going for two rounds. We actually did this just a few days ago on the 16th here at OTF Elgin Mills and it wasn't too bad. If you were able to maintain a certain pace on your exercises where you don't feel like you're completely gassed out, you're in the green. Right after you're done with that 2000 meter row, you come over to the floor into your working station, both hands on the side of the bench, stay nice and light on your toes. We're doing bench hops here. After that, once you finish, quickly straddle the bench and then drop down into your tap squats. Use your arms for momentum here. And then you're gonna pivot and turn to the side. We're doing full step up. So you're gonna plant your foot, step on up, match your feet all the way down. You're doing 20 on each side. From there, we drop down into push-ups, flare your elbows out 45 degrees, keep your core nice and tight, your hips and your chest in one straight line. And then after that, you're gonna drop down into a low plank and we're gonna do plank jacks, bringing your feet in and out, keep your core nice and tight once again, don't let the hips dip or spike into the sky. Back into your high plank position, we're gonna go for that full burpee, so jump your feet up, jump up into the sky, back down, high plank, and then finish strong. So the two biggest tips that I have going into the floor block is actually one, your tempo, how fast you're doing the exercises. Again, you don't wanna burn out the muscles. You don't wanna feel like you're short of breath. You wanna be able to continuously go. The second thing here is gonna be your flow. How do you transition from one exercise to another? Earlier, I tried to take as little steps or pivoting so that we minimize any unnecessary wasted time so that we can go right into the next exercise. Try to incorporate these two things to help you maximize your time here on the floor, shake things off and get ready for the tread block. I suspect we're gonna be spending most of the time as well as our effort. The most important thing is to just get moving. Even if you're at a 3.5 mile walk, you're still accumulating some distance. And because we know that this is probably gonna be the area where we're gonna be spending most of our time, you wanna be spending most of your energy here. Now, 
The way that I'm gonna tackle this is that I'm gonna be trying to just kind of jog things out, get a feel of how I, I am at that moment. And then I might just use time or distance markers to start to increase my pace. This is gonna be a five kilometer run. That's about 3.1 miles. So making sure that we don't set a speed that's gonna be too high where we're gonna burn out in the first couple minutes because it's gonna be very, very tiring and long to finish this off. I would say start off a little bit more conservatively, something that you're comfortable with, maybe a slight increment of your base pace and then bump your way up. I like to add the fact that I'm absolutely not a good runner and I don't claim to be a running coach of any sorts. However, Orange Theory makes it really easy because like I said, almost every workout within the last two weeks, at least the ones that I've participated in or coached in, they kind of subtly help you out. So if I'm looking at increasing my speed for every, I don't know, quarter mile per se, Two days ago on the strength dry try, every 0.25 miles, we had to decrease those inclines. They're all already engaging us to think, okay, let's set distance parameters so that we can either increase our speed. This is how I'm gonna be attacking the tread block or the tread effort in the dry try. Now, although dry try is a main event, it might sound very daunting and scary because of how many things are going on and how fast you need to go. You need to block all of that noise out. You've actually been training subtly, not knowing, preparing the body for the event. And just like the very first time you tried working out, the very first time you lifted a weight, and the very first time you stepped into this studio, there's gonna be a very first time for this main event and it's fast approaching. It's gonna be this weekend here at Orange Theory Elgin Mills. I hope to see you there and if I don't, that's okay. I hope to see you in one of my classes. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun in it and let's get after this. Let's go. By the way, if you've enjoyed this kind of content, let me know by hitting the like and subscribe button and I will start uploading more videos just like this one. I'll see you on the next one.